Hi and welcome to part 18 of ESP.NET MVC Core Tutorials. On this part, we are going to replace our mock repositories with real repositories. Since repositories are data related files, we are going to put them inside the data folder. So inside data folder, we create a new folder and we name it repositories. Inside this folder, let's create our first repository, which is the drink repository. And for this, we are going to inherit from iDrink repository. This is the interface which holds the print for this repository. Next, we are going to implement the interface. But before we continue with the real implementation, let us first add the constructor for this repository. We need the constructor because here in this constructor, we are going to inject the application TB context series so we can interact with the database. So first we add a private read-only property on top of our class and then we inject it to our constructor. Here we are going to assign the value to our application DB context and that's it. So because we registered application DB context as a service means that we can inject it in our constructor. I'm going to replace the default implementations with the real ones. Yeah, and for that we need to import entity framework core and we see that we get an error so the implementations are only getters let's go to our interface and here we see that for drinks and preferred drinks we have setters as well let's remove the setters save the file and go back to drink repository and we see that the error is gone i'm going to quickly add the other repository as well so for that we need to create a new class category repository .cs. this simply has the categories property which will return the drink categories we have already mentioned that we have only two categories the alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks so this is how you add the real repositories but before we continue further we need to go to the startup class on the startup class we need to make one more change instead of mocks in here we use the real repositories so when we inject one of these interfaces the real implementation is returned but of course we do not need to change anything in our controller because we are using interfaces to inject and the dependency injection will return the second parameter from this configuration in here which now are the real repositories on the next part we are going to add a db initialization and learn about db migrations so thank you for watching and see you on the next part